as a coach, do you get anything out of the Super Bowl watching the Super Bowl and watching how it unfolded? Uh, yeah, you always do. Uh, you know, I played football until I was 17, so I like football. So I just I like the game itself. But I think you you look at the setting and uh, the pressure, and I, I, that's what I love love looking at is how people handle pressure and you saw two different teams handle it differently and one team putting everything into the first part of the game and you see the other team that uh, has experience and calm under pressure and poise uh, just uh, continue steady in the second part and uh, being very not just mentally strong but you can see very poised very poised under pressure so you learn from Belichick oh you know all the all these coaches out there that are uh, in every different sport, we all, I do, but I know pretty much all the coaches I know that uh, we all read from each other on what we do, what we think, and uh, whether it's him or other guys, it's, there's always something to learn from their philosophy and how they do things, absolutely. Were you any good at football? Sorry? Were you any good at football? Yeah, actually, that's the thing. Yeah, I had to choose at 17 if I was going to continue hockey or football, and I uh, was a running back, but my last year as a quarterback, I stunk. So I didn't like that one, but as a running back, I had fun. So it was good. Uh, it was it was it was a good game, and I think it's a real team game. Um, takes a lot of uh, takes a lot of character, and and, uh, and it actually uh, promotes character. It's the type of game where you got to challenge yourself one on one against bigger guys and tougher guys, and uh, you got to you're always injured, so you got to battle through that. Uh, but I like the fact that there's different. Um, you know parts of the game where you have to rely on other people you're not on the field other people are on the field and uh, I'm a big fan of that it's a real uh, team atmosphere in, in, a, in, a, in a football uh, atmosphere and uh, you know you saw yesterday it took everybody on their team to uh, to pull through everybody talks about the quarterback but I think when you look at everybody the defensive game uh, special teams uh, you all got to contribute and uh, I think that's the beauty of football that Buffalo game, you flipped the lines a bit. Yeah. They're back to normal. Seemingly today, is this the way we should look at them tomorrow? Uh, you know what? I think we've we've had a lot of success uh, with uh, with the lines that we've used. Uh, but when there's nothing going, uh, you know, we weren't very good in the first period. Um, so then I shuffled things around, and uh, our second period was really good until they scored that goal. We kind of deflated. Uh, so I think that worked. But uh, hopefully I don't have to do that too many times. But you have to do that to get something going. And uh, either because somebody's not doing a job or because somebody else is doing a great job and they deserve it more. Uh, and sometimes nobody's doing a good job and you're just trying to shuffle it. So you're trying to get something going. Oh, we haven't. We haven't. Uh, we got to reconsider now uh, because Andy, I got to check on Andy now. Uh, today he was off because he's uh, helping his family move into Ottawa. Uh, so that's a very positive. Uh, it's just I don't know now when he's able to back up. So I got to sit down with uh, goalie coach and see where that's at. But his argument is if he backs up, then he's probably good enough to play. Like, would you dress him as a backup even if he wasn't? Up to 100%. No, 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 no. He he's a hundred percent now in terms of he doesn't have any injury. Right. You know, he could play a game. It's just we're trying to get him as close to uh, his level as possible before we put him in there. But I mean, you could put him tomorrow morning and he could play a game. Absolutely. So it's not it's not like you're trying to get a guy back from an injury where he, it prevents him from being you know uh, from doing what he can. Now right now it's just a question of stamina and timing. But you'd put him in a game now. I mean, if we were playing a playoff seventh game now he'd be in so he but it's just for us it's we we want to give him the time to, to feel good about him and himself and and when that happens and then, then he'll be in for uh to start but i think uh he might be backing up before he starts just to get him in the groove and uh and if it happens that he can he has to go in the net uh without having the pressure to, to start the game and uh, and he gets ice time just like we did with hammond last game i think that's uh, that's also something we can look at is there a chance that he would play tomorrow? Uh, if he hadn't missed today? Or uh, honestly, I was so focused on what we did over the weekend, and I knew he wasn't playing. And just, we need me and Pierre need to sit down now. I want to know where he's at now, exactly. So I, I, I can't comment on that until he tells me exactly where where he's at. So what today means, and we are, is, he, is he there tomorrow morning for the morning skate, or we have to wait the next day? So I, I need to know. A lot has been made of the fact that you. Mm -hmm. 
Has too much been made of that? Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've had a very good schedule since uh, since Christmas in terms of um, games spread out. Uh, we had all kinds of breaks, uh, so the fatigue level is not uh, certainly never been an issue for us. Uh, the 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 fact that um, he played all these games uh, and we are where we are certainly attests to his character and his capabilities of being able to do it and keeping us afloat which he has so he's done the job so that's extremely positive but we knew you know from a week ago to now to next week uh, that Andy is, is going to be there so it's it's uh, it was more of an emergency measure to have him play all these games because we knew he could do the job and he wanted to do it and he was ready to do it and he was healthy to do it and because the schedule permitted it too to be honest with you I'm not, just sorry, I just had to follow up to that. I, I'm not taking anything away from what he's done, but a lot is made the fact that he's played in 27 straight games. When players play in 27 straight games all the time, mm -hmm. why is there a difference with the goalie? Uh, go, first of all, goalies have more pressure. So that's one thing that's very difficult to calculate for somebody who's never lived it. But the pressure, whether it's a... Eric Carlson has more pressure on our team. He, he has more pressure, it's more tiring to play games over time, and a goalie's even worse. So that's one, just like a quarterback in football, just like, so you got to manage their time differently in their minds. Uh, two, because it, the, the, what the physical demands are of the, uh, for the legs, being standing up all the time during the game and having to take care of power plays and the, of the, the offensive team surging against you and so on. Uh, but the mental and emotional wear down is, is a lot more of what it is than, than the physical part, unless you have a really tough schedule. But if we would have had a tough schedule, we would have managed it differently. And if Hammond had been ready before, we would have managed it differently. So if you're asking me if it was the ideal, of course not. But it was it necessary? Absolutely. And you may have just answered this. His last six games, his save percentage is 870. I don't know how much stock you put into where that's at compared yeah. to how your team has played, but it's the second lowest of the goals who have played mm -hmm. that stretch. Is there a concern of the mental break as opposed to more than a physical break? There is no break, but, uh, oh, you mean if, if it would be good to have it? Yes, yeah. of course, of course. We were, we've were been looking at giving him a break, that's for sure, but looking at circumstances and who was available and who wasn't, um, we every time had to go back and say, okay, where are we and this is what we need so that's why today is another one of those days that we got to sit down see what's available is Andy available uh, is a hammy 100% to start a game we knew he was, he was okay to back up and he's had enough practices now so finally uh, you know he's, he's somebody that's that's ready to go that has NHL experience that we can rely on without putting um, pressure that's that's too difficult to manage um, so that's why we go back to it every time and, I, and right now we're getting to the point where we want it we got three goaltenders that are going to be available and it's perfect timing but he was he was pulled, Connor was pulled the other night because no lousy, no no, no. Ex exactly hundred so percent no, I didn't say he wasn't go back you just no, said that no 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 why do you have to think about it because we've been wanting to give him a break for a little while now. So if we can give him a break tomorrow because we feel that uh, either one of the other ones can, uh, can do that, that's an option. Doesn't mean I'm, we're doing it, but we have an option, yes. So uh, before that, Hamia wasn't ready, and certainly Andy wasn't ready either, and we weren't gonna ask an American League goalie uh, to, you know, have all that pressure to, to, to take over and uh, and uh, and save us from uh, you know. So I think uh, right now it's we're we finally get to the point where we got options that we we've been wanting for a long, long time.